back to Kick Ons episode 25, brought to you by Dira. Um, first week of finals, we've had a week off. It's good to be back, isn't it, Clug? It is, Pum. Uh, might be a bit rusty today with the, with the week off, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we should be right. Look like I've been in here for ages. <laughs> no, it has felt like it's been a while. A few people asking where it went I know, over the weekend. Uh, yeah, that's right, we're back. Yeah, um, at least we haven't finished. We've got, what, reckon four more weeks of it, don't you think? Yeah, four more, and then that'll be it, I think. <laughs> and then we'll have the special <laughs> episode at the end. <laughs> uh, we've got a mystery guest on today. Me and Clug actually, well, obviously you guys will know who it is because... It'll be on the um, on Spotify and that by the time we get played. But me and you, we don't know who it no is. No idea. Um, who are we thinking, Clark? Oh. We've had some, I've said, I've thrown up. He's thrown up Richie. the greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I thought Lee <laughs> Matthews was coming. And I've started packing my desk because I didn't know <laughs> what to ask him <laughs> without preparation. Um, who else do we have that could be? I thought maybe Richie, obviously, yeah. with the recent news. Maybe um, the Krug man. Grug, yeah, as yep. you said, uh, even Swanee possibly, so we'll see. He's coming here at 7.50. It's currently 7.45. It's got to be so. someone we get along with pretty well because we haven't yeah. had time to to prep. work out what questions we're going to ask. Not that we do too much prep <laughs> anyway, but... <laughs> Unless Muggs is right oh, the deep Muggs end. He's got the sheets there. Um, Beautiful. But obviously had the weekend off, um, no footy, a nice time. We trained on Saturday morning. Um, how was your weekend? Do you want to give everyone a rundown of what you got up to over the last few days and... Um, and how it was. Had a good weekend, yeah. We went down on – so we trained Saturday morning at the Gabba and then the big chief and I drove down the little Holden Cruise with his with his <laughs> knees tucked up around his ears to the Gold Coast and we watched the boys play on um, – is it Heritage Bank now? Yeah. yeah there on, on Saturday night, which was which was okay. The boys didn't get up, obviously. Uh, a pretty tough game for them, but I'm sure they'll learn plenty of lessons from it and mm. – uh, yeah, we went, we went, spent a bit of time at the beach down at Main Beach there. And uh, yeah, it was a nice afternoon. No, no, we had a bit of a swim. And then we stopped in at this little old tavern. <laughs> it's called the Central Tavern down on the Gold <laughs> Coast because we couldn't find anywhere to eat uh, on the way to the footy. And we had, it was one of those places, you don't judge a book by its cover. Good. We walked in and it was actually pretty good steak and oh, yeah. um, some buffalo wings as well. So you nice weekend. Yeah, the pies. Every time I go yeah, to the Gold Coast, I always stop by yeah, the pies. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I haven't done it as recent, but... <laughs> Early on, mate, that is good. Oh. Actually, yesterday at the, can, at the canteen here, Drakey rolled up before me and he ordered a, <laughs> ordered a meat pie. He goes, I go one pie a day out here. They, he reckons they're the best pies there Wait, are. At Springfield? Yeah, at, at, at Springfield. Jesus, I didn't even know they made pies here. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. He said, oh, it's the only thing I have out here every day. <laughs> um, how much golf did you get in? Did we play golf? one round together, didn't we? Well, I played three rounds over the during the week. I played Monday, Wednesday, Two. Friday. Jacket. Jacket. We haven't spoken about yeah, jacket, jacket, have we? Yeah. Run, give us a rundown. Well, I didn't have the greatest day. Uh, coming last. down the last, I needed two points to beat Chief to not come last. Or Connor. Or Connor was there. Connor was there as well. The yeah. He dragged me down, though, because he started terribly. And <laughs> he just, oh, I couldn't stop laughing He's at him. Star. He's a funny man. And, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't able to fight through it. And all of a sudden, I was in the battle for the last place. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not going to have to put on the Lions kit and then mm. sing the national anthem. But no, it didn't hit him too well. What about you, Paul? Yeah, no, I was I was about mid pack. Um, I had Zork, who's in my group, Zork, Darcy Gardner, and Charlie. Charlie, and we were first off, so yeah. Um, had the ceremonial tee shot. <laughs> yeah, S- smoked oh, it. That's peak And nerves. I was, mate. What do we got? <laughs> 20, 25, Was it twenty six? Twenty six. I think. I'm yeah, in this. Is a jacket which is that tight on my shoulders. <laughs> I can't right. move. And like, obviously, you're not taking anything else besides driver off the first because <laughs> Ego did that in front of the boys. <laughs> and I was like, my hands shaking. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, your actual tee shot. And then you like, I got that. Off, I got that one off. Like, and hit it. Smoked it. I was like, oh, oh, I'm happy. And then got to my actual tee shot and then shake that one. But I was like, I don't care. I was like, I'm happy. I got the other one out. And then. Had to go walk into the garden on the left of the first tee oh, and, and hit it again. It's but, so nerve wracking when you're oh, hitting hitting the shot in front yeah. of the whole crew and then <laughs> Charlie, just quiet. Charlie, if you saw his legs, yeah. they were like boom, tingling, and because he's got these skinny little legs, they're almost knocking together. <laughs> we had and to then, put the ball in the tee. <laughs> yeah, and, and we were even going to the second second tee. Like we were still saying, like there was just nerves. Yeah, like but obviously we didn't stick around when we got to a bit of flack for that. But we yeah, teed off. Took it. off. 10.50. And we probably teed off at about 11.40. We were with the, last the last group. Second yeah. last, yeah. So, and obviously we knew we weren't going to win it because Priz, Priz won. We, we didn't miss much, yeah. No, nah, was he two over, wasn't he? Four over. Four over. Yeah, fair round. Like, unbelievable. Pepper that quarter. It's, um, so that was good for him. It's his third jacket now. Yeah, so, getting sick of saying it though. I know. We need someone else to, well, I mean, you got, I got one the, last the, 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 uh, that nudgy. Yeah, the jacket before, but... We need some. Yeah, well, it's hard to beat him. He's a new Richie. Though. He is, and that someone's that? got to step into the to the role. We'll, we'll roll on to now, Richie. Obviously, with Marcus and and Richie um, retirements, obviously 
sad time to see blokes' um, careers come to an end, but yep. awesome. We'll start with Richie as well. Like, unbelievable career we've got here. Third most games played as a Brisbane Lion. Um, obviously had the opportunity to go elsewhere when it was tough there for a period, stuck around. Yep. Um, you know, it's getting strange now when you're, when you, we first got to the club, like people like Richie yeah. now are just mainstays and yeah. you, you don't imagine what it's going to be like without him. But yeah. um, it's an awesome achievement for Richie and something I know that he'd be very proud of. Yeah. What was it? We were talking about his kicking efficiency yeah. last night as well. It was over 70%. What was it? 70% since 2012, wasn't it? 73. Which is just That's unbelievable. incredible. Um, yeah, probably one of the best kicks, if not the best kick I've played with and probably will be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you won't come across any on with a nicer boot than he is. Um, great bloke, you know, one of the great clubmen, I think. Yeah. He just has stuck fat. He um, has been loyal with the club. And, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just going to be weird walking into the club without without Richie being here because, as you spoke, he's part of the part of the fabric of the place. And, yeah. um, you know, every now and then you lose players like that and you never, you never like to see it, but... Um, Someone's going to have to step up and Richie's got a couple of things. He's obviously the, the chief jacket organiser, as he spoke about in his speech, and also fines. the fines commissioners. Mm. Big O will be looking for someone else, but I reckon Prizzy's the man to step into the, he's the jacket, jacket? organiser. I, I, yeah. I barely put my money on you. You, oh, you reckon? Yeah, I, I, I don't so. know if I have the contacts. Yeah. But I, I guess I can just, yeah, I can get around Richie and see. Because he won't, see even he though knows. Richie's gone, he won't be playing with us uh, next year, you can guarantee, to be honest. He probably still he's, he's still going to be a jacket <laughs> organiser. <laughs> He's not going to give that up. He'll still be the one no, who arrives, right. I reckon. But um, we'll touch on Marcus as well. Obviously, um, the circumstances are a little bit different to Richie um, with concussion. But um, obviously, he hasn't spent a lot of time here this year. But, you know, we got to play a fair bit of footy with him over the last couple of years and um, a great player, another great bloke. And obviously, um, he'll be obviously super um, excited with what he did throughout his year as, uh, career as well. Yeah. Um, we'll touch on a couple more things going around the club. Big O. We saw the fin up. See, it's been a long time since we've yeah. been on the potty. So we haven't spoken about that. Nah. He's a dad. Fins up. <laughs> He's a dad. And a nice little article if in the paper yeah, in the that. career mail as well. Oh, the, the token photo together. and um, It's so unlike Owie to do anything like that. <laughs> I, just, I loved it. I, loved, I didn't really realise he did it until after I the game. I was going in for then, a hug. Yeah. For, for he kicked it and he's put the fin up and it's almost blocked the, the gun on the way in. And I didn't realise what he was doing. And then it went to score review. I was like, oh, yeah. no. I was like, please yeah, surely not. It could have been like Widow back in the, <laughs> in the, the fake celebration. <laughs> um, but that's awesome for Oscar. Um, and then we'll touch on as well. We had four boys in the All Australian squad. Yeah, Joey, Harris, Locke, Locke Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, um, Charlie All Australian for the second time, which is a huge achievement, yep. and he's been awesome all year. Yeah, Charlie's been unbelievable. Not just the amount of goals he's kicked, but I think his defensive work and his pressure this year has been uh, at another level. And you know, you could you could make an argument for every one of those blokes making it into the team. And then there's there's a lot of guys as well that didn't even make the squad. Um, Dunks is one that comes mm. to mind that. Uh, yeah, probably could have been in there. So I think it just speaks to the consistency of the group this year. Could that be our special guest? Who? Charlie. Oh, it could be. <laughs> We're not getting anything over you, mate. Has he brought his jacket in today? <laughs> could he be on oh, the podcast? That would be brilliant. Because this is the time that we need him. I reckon it could be. Charlie could be in. Oh. <laughs> Muggsy's not giving us anything. Um, all right, we'll quickly have a chat about uh, obviously this weekend coming up before we get to the ad break and, and um, our guest on next, but super excited. Um, obviously one of the most disappointing games early on against Port in round one, but we get the opportunity now to play them in a final, which is so exciting. And, um, you know, they've got a stack midfield with heaps of young players, Butters and Rosie and um, Horn Francis, and it's going to be a great opportunity for us to – to really challenge ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We definitely have a point to prove after the last time we played them. Uh, it's going to be awesome. You play footy to play finals and last week was pretty hard, to be honest, to sit back and have to wait. But yeah, now we're um, getting ready to, to get stuck into it this week. And, yeah, Port are a great side. They're, they've got um, a lot of talent, a really good system, and they, they just completely outplayed us in round one. So we need to make sure that we, um, you know, bring a much better effort this time around and uh, we look forward to getting out there in front of the Gabba fans. They're, they're loud at the best of times, yeah. but especially in a final, it's just another level. So I absolutely can't wait. I feel like, you know, in recent years, you, you get to the finals and it, it just happens so quick. We've spoken about opportunities, but I feel like this year we really understand and um, are ready to go and obviously had a lot of experiences over the last three or four years, which we've touched on as a group, but um, we've got a great opportunity this year to, to really give it everything. But it starts this week, obviously. Um, against Port Adelaide, um, sold out again, 
I think it's is that six sellouts this year, mm-hmm. which is awesome at the Gabba. A um, couple of milestones: Charlie playing his 200th game, Painy with his 50th. Painy, geez, 50 games for Painy. <laughs> he's a fair, yeah, pretty good player for 50 games, isn't he? Chucky 200. He's been so durable, particularly yeah. since he's came here. I think. Yeah. He's probably well, besides his first year where he did his yeah. Cindy. I don't, but he's barely missed. I think Touch he's wood. yeah, hundred hundred something plus games in a row. Yeah, um, which gives me another indication that he could be coming on the podcast. <laughs> Brilliant, <laughs> but Brilliant. I don't think he will be. But obviously, we have got a triple header on Saturday. Um, the VFL, we're playing Willie the AFLW versus Port, and we'll be versing uh, Port as well. So yeah, um, we'll quickly get our ad break. We've got our guest coming on next. Um, we're very excited to see who it is. Cam, a few of the boys have been telling me how good our show sounded lately. Well, they're probably listening on Odira headphones. They personalise sound to your unique hearing profile like 2020 vision, but for years. So you don't reckon it's just our excellent podcasting skills? <laughs> that too. <laughs> I use mine for calls, music, movies, and of course, listening to our show. They're noise cancelling, Bluetooth enabled, and have 30 hours of battery life. <laughs> Brisbane Lions members can claim their exclusive 20% discount on any pair of Odira headphones through their member page. What's not to love? Join the club today and feel connected with Odira. Join the Ned's AFL Open Group to connect, bet and banter with hundreds of like-minded punters and see expert tips on every AFL game this season. Take it to the Ned's level. T's and C's apply. See website for details. Chances are you're about to lose. Come in. Yes! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, brother. I called it. I said, oh, Charlie, yes. <laughs> it's my boy. Oh, my God. I knew it, brother. Let you know. Yeah, oh, perfect. Welcome back to the Kick On podcast. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> you right? oh. we, he's nervous. He's got his, the person he's wanted on all year, Charlie. He's finally here. But, um, well, this is awesome, Chuck. Um, you know, we've been trying all year to get you. You know, you've been telling us you're busy and you're hard to get amongst. But thanks for finally coming on, man. Well, was that a me or Eric, I think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Luckily, we didn't get Eric. Eric would have never going to get Rick. He nah, would never come on. He's too stubborn to get up here. But um, I think Sammy, can we get the cave? Coffee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right. We'll leave it on. No, there. I can't. No, 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 <laughs> it's fine. No, it'll be all right. Don't worry about it, mate. Um, Chuck, thanks for coming on, mate. Have you heard much about the podcast? I know a couple of boys have been on. Um, yep. What do you think about it this year? How have you found it? I think uh, it's been all right. I think Jared Berry's been your best, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Coffee, I've sell, I've coffee was good. <laughs> coffee is good. Um, talk about the weekend last weekend. We're just touching on before, mate. Congratulations on your second All-Australian. Um, obviously went down there with Caitlin. Yep. Do you want to run us through the, the couple of days there? Yeah, obviously left at around 8 o'clock just yeah. to get down there. And then I just probably slept in the hotel all day while Caitlin was out <laughs> shopping and things. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I was so tired. So And then it was a long night at the um, All-Australian, but it was a good event. But, yeah. It was a long, that long day. And um, obviously we can see the, the teeth through here, mate. It's going to be, going to have to talk about it. Um, do you want to run through the situation and tell everyone about it from your point of view? Because we spoke about you getting your teeth knocked out yep. here a couple of times, but do you want to tell it firsthand how it, how it <laughs> happened for you? Oh, it was just a coaching contest and then I, f- I felt my mouth card. Oh, I was like, oh, I think I knocked my front teeth out of Crawf. I was like, I knocked my front gate out and Crawf started laughing at me and Sherwin, the doctor. And I was like, why are you laughing for? Like, when they came out on the ground and I was like, it's not funny. Because like, they were stuck in your mouth guard. Oh, yeah, so I had, I had crowns in it at that time and I was like, oh, I've just knocked out my crowns. And then Crawf was like laughing the whole time, our physio. And I was like, mate, that's not funny. <laughs> but I was like, I've got to give a mouth guard mold. And he's like, if you take your mouth guard out during a game, your teeth will probably fall out. And I was like, oh, I want to keep it in the whole time. So I've, you've got the you've got the fakies in there. <laughs> yeah, I've got the fakies. In there, so I've got to take it out when I eat and drink and everything. But I I do take it out at training and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. when we're in the gym, I walk around with no teeth. So. <laughs> Stick your tongue the week. <laughs> the week after, I'm sitting on the plane and I'm in like oh, I'm yeah. in like three or four seat, uh, row, three or four. Chucky's behind me. And I look down at my right and there's a set of teeth oh, yeah. sitting next to my foot. <laughs> and I get tapped on the show. He's like, hey, Buzz, can you grab my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no. I'm trying to speak about He gives me his jumper. So <laughs> to grab it, yeah, my shirt. Yeah, I was like, can you grab my shirt? <laughs> well, did you put him on the fell backwards? No, nah, like I had it on my lap or something. I took it off and put it on my lap. And then it fell down the side of the... Um, <laughs> Uh, plane. I was like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, Huey, can you have a teeth, please? And he's <laughs> like, oh, how do I grab it? <laughs> <laughs> lucky with Huey in front. Could you imagine it was just someone random? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know. Hey, mate, you reckon you, you could just flick your teeth back? <laughs> um, on, oh, that, on your teeth, though, when you come back out, 
Like you had your white mouth guard in, the yeah. amount of blood that I was know. coming through the front. You had the like you had a chuck in I your had a chuck's in, in, in my pocket or in the back, was, and everyone's like, "Why you got?" Then I got told off by the umpire. Like, you yeah. can't do that. And you're like, "Oh, well, mate, my mouth's bleeding." You're like, like "What am I supposed to do all the time?" And there's blood coming through. And then he was like, "It was after a goal," and he called me and Charlie. I mean, Eric, and he's trying to have a conversation with us. <laughs> yeah, all boys and are like, Eric, look at him. Like, <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> saying? I, I think when I came out the first time, I was like, "Boys, I can't talk." Like, can't, can't, like and everyone's <laughs> like, "I was like, oh, fuck that." All the boys, and I was like yelling at boys during the game, like, "What do you say?" <laughs> like, like, I can't hear you. Uncle. Oh, mate, it was that funny. Um, we're also touching on before you got in. We we're talking about the jacket. Um, you and me in the first group. Do you want to talk about the nerves on that first tee? Like we're talking about us putting the ball. Oh, in. the ball. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I was the first one to tee off. I think it was like twenty blokes around, and yeah. I went to put my ball down. I was shaking. <laughs> and I didn't think anyone seen it. And then all the boys like, "Oh, you shaking?" I'm like, "Yeah." You smoked your shot though. It was a great shot. Yeah, I was a bit nervous, but yeah. <laughs> Um, even touched on the second hole when we got around the corner and still in front of no one, all of us were still a little bit nervous. I know, nervous. <laughs> I was like, this is, I'm still rattled from the first tee, but <laughs> it was a good day. Um, and obviously this week, mate, um, obviously a massive week for the, the club with our first final, but a huge achievement for you, 200 games. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, well, saying is it, how many games have you played consecutively now? Is it 100 and... Uh, I think about 110, 115, maybe around right there. Yeah. Um, over your 200 games, do you want to run us through some of your, your favourite moments? Obviously, early days at Adelaide, got to play in the grand final and then yep. coming up to Brisbane. Do you want to run through some of your favourite moments or games? I think probably your first game. Yeah. But mine was against Collingwood on Thursday night, mm. um, I think around nine. So play your first game and then the grand final was pretty special and playing Oh, in the prelim was pretty big. Yeah, played a pretty good game. Five, and, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long and that I think nice. that was a thing that probably just gave me belief that I can be at this level and play in big games. And uh, grand finals pretty special. I've been there. I've been back since 2017, so yeah. it's six years now. So, and then obviously playing first club, first game of the club, and playing I guess 200 and I think the Richmond game, the yeah. qualifying was pretty special. Yeah. Um, what about this week? How many uh, family members do you have coming? Uh, I've How got many about. To get? I've got twenty, but because my parents come from WA, my sister and them it was too hard to bring kids over from WA. So I've uh, just got my brother, mum and dad, and cousins that are around here, and auntie that live around here. So yeah, ah, beautiful. And Caitlin's family. Your last so, yeah. was your last milestone in a final as well. Yeah, so I played the one fifty in the qualifying against yeah. Melbourne. That's right, um, Adelaide Oval. I feel like I've had all my milestones um, at Adelaide Oval. Yeah, except yeah, for yeah. Say, this, one, for and this but, one, and then it's Port Adelaide. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always got something to do with Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide so yeah, <laughs> um, we we'll talk about our puppies on here a lot as well. And you got two of your little favourites, <laughs> George and Betty. Yeah, do you want to run us through them? We we're saying that um, dogs are not like. What were we having the conversation the other day? Um, like their owners. Yeah, we're saying that they're <laughs> dog that isn't like their owners. I'd say it would be your dogs because you're quick and you can run and yours will be one. Mark and I go, I only take them for a 10 minute walk around the block and then they're gas. So it's a bit like me. Or your backyard, you just got those little footpaths. Yeah, I've got a little running down. track and it's just straight up and down. So it's like me going at the golf. <laughs> um, another thing we'll talk about is uh, Chuck, you love your music. You're on the speaker. Um, Moddy is coming for your title, I think. Would, uh, would you say Moddy? Do or you like his music? <laughs> that wasn't the question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I'd rather your music. But I was going to say, if you were to pick either Coddy, uh, Cocky or Moddy to take over for you, who would you um, go for? That's a tough one. Cocky has some rogue music. <laughs> and he, uh, I heard feedback from the boys last year, like when he was playing music, he was, it was pretty bad. But Moddy's is pretty bad as well. <laughs> I think I'll just tell you for Eric. Oh, oh, oh that's, Eric, a, that's a nice Eric was that. last year. Eric was. Yeah, yeah. pre game. Yeah. He? he did it for yeah. a while because Widow used to do it. Yeah. Did and he? then, er yeah, Widow did it early on. <laughs> <laughs> then Eric did it. Um, and then Charlie's taken over. So <laughs> it's been good. Um, it's not easy. The, oh, you've no. got to grab. I love how we've got to grab the speaker at the gather oh, no. and then walk it all the way down to the. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. To it's more about room. what blokes want. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, sometimes I play rap music. Some blokes are like, oh, it's, don't it's, love it's, it. Yeah. Yeah. You got to you got to try a way to cater for everyone. Yeah, I know exactly. Oh, that's you can't hide everyone there. Nah. Well, that's why I just I don't bother anymore. I just play whatever what you, like, you like. Well, ever, I feel like our before the game now our playlist has got a consistent. Yeah, thing to it. Yeah. Some blokes like Froggy. You can't say Froggy's sitting there bopping all the time to Drake and no. stuff. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but it's no, good I changed those... it up though. I do yeah, play yeah. like a little bit of house music and yeah. a bit of chill music. Yeah, those songs that remind you of game day that like yeah. you don't usually listen to, but then when you hear when you hear them, you're like, right, I just now yeah, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Bit, yeah. <laughs> um, one more thing before we get to the quiz as well, Chuck. Uh, we spoke about Richie obviously retiring this week. Do you want to touch on a little bit about how Richie's been for you since you because you and me got here at the same year? Yeah, we've been here for what seven? Is it? 
the seventh, six, yeah, seven. six or seven, yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to just touch on your relationship with Richie and and how good he's been with uh, with us for the club? Yeah. Well, when I first got here, I think um, we had a, a same thing with golf. Yeah. And so he'd take me out every Wednesday with clay beams and stuff, and invite me along with Ron Buick. That was our little golf crew at Brisbane. Um, and I guess that kept well made me close to Richie, I guess, and yeah. have something in common and. Can't thank him enough for, I guess, making me feel welcome. Um, might be a little thing, but I yeah. really did appreciate him um, taking me, I guess, taking me for a round of golf and inviting me here and there. But um, for him to come along and, um, I guess, be a leader and help yeah. young blokes out in his own way, um, I guess he's a different leader, but he's a bit of a child sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, I love love to get him going all the time. Um, but You're going to miss him in the yeah, changes, aren't we? Yeah, going to miss him in the changes, definitely, <laughs> his, his vibe. But, um, yeah, like I said, he, he leads in his own way and um, he, I guess he takes his approach differently to some boys, but yeah. um, they're different in their own way. But I appreciate his uh, time at the club and the seven years I've been with him. He's a good man. Uh, can I just take it back a bit, Chuck, for one more question? Yeah. Um, obviously, when you were growing up, you weren't, you actually didn't have that much of an AFL background, did you? You were, no. more, yeah. you were more involved in rugby and you played a bit of rugby. How did... How did it come about that you got into AFL and obviously playing 200 games now, that's pretty incredible yeah. when you, you didn't grow up with the sport necessarily? Yeah, well, I played like at my school here in Ashgrove. Um, you play two games a year yeah. um, from grade nine to grade 10. That's great. Um, and then uh, <coughs> we, I sort of like aligned the, the academy, like they invite you along. They come out like scouts and stuff. They invite yeah. you along. But I did like two sessions with the Lions Academy with my other schoolmate. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> schoolmates. Um, and then me and my mate was like, we're traveling from Ashgrove to Cooper, like in a taxi every Tuesday, Thursday. I'm like, what do we want to keep doing? <laughs> <What are> we <laughs> doing? <laughs> I know. And I was like, do you want to just, just go back and do rugby training? Miss them like rugby training yeah, at, yeah. at a local um, club. And we're like, yeah, let's stop it. And then stop playing AFL then. And then when I moved to WA uh, to Newman, where I worked in the mines, um, yeah. I played, started playing there, took it took it up and um, got good at it. And obviously Swan Districts, is that's their zone. Yeah. Um, and so they were like, come down to Perth and I'll uh, we'll get you a job and stuff. And I was working in the mines at the time um, as a heavy diesel mechanic. And then yeah. they were like, come down, we'll give you a job at a Ford dealership as a mechanic. And that's how I got invited down to Perth from Newman. So it's 12 hours from Perth. Jeez. Uh, so drove down by myself and then um, stayed with a mate that's from, um, that knows Kai. Um, he's from, uh, is it Marrow? Oh, Mar- right. Marrowborough. Uh, Mar- yeah, 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 yeah. So he, he's working at Swanson's time. He's like, yeah, come live with me and then I'll take your training and stuff and then get your job and yeah. that's how it took off. And then um, I was playing as a defender in the reserves <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it, and then the league coach like, we'll chuck you forward because you're a bit quick. So And then that's how it started as a forward. There you go. Yeah. Took um, off from there. So then you played WA... I played state, state footy. Yeah, state in 2013. So I, I moved down to Perth at end of, end of 2012 to do preseason. Um, that's when I was 18 at the time and then started getting good at it and then got drafted in 2013. That's crazy. But you still keep a close eye on the storm, hey? You're a big storm fan. Yeah, because my old man, um, they're playing this weekend, so he's coming over tomorrow night. So yeah. I got him tickets to the game. So Yeah, lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah so... My, my old man's a massive Storm fan, so I yeah. grew up watching the Storm and Greg yeah. Ingles was my favourite player. Yeah, so no. you obviously love a lot of sports as well. If you weren't playing AFL, would you be a golfer? Would you be <laughs> rugby league or would you be a boxer? I reckon they're the three that you, 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 fa- you favour yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I look at myself in the mirror and start boxing. I'm trying to boxing with like UFC, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, league, do you reckon? Would you go to league? Uh, probably league, yeah. Or basketball? You could nah, shoot. I hate, I hate basketball. <laughs> Don't it's get me a nice started. ball. No, I hate it. Yeah, I hate basketball, so don't give me stuff. We're still league. NFL. Yeah, NFL. Wide receiver. What sport yeah. do you reckon you? Uh, I reckon you'd be a boxer. No, you. Me? <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> sumo wrestling. <laughs> <or something. laughs> yeah. you golf? Oh, yeah. Golf or cricket. Actually, probably. not bad cricket, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cricket. <laughs> All right, we'll get into the quiz. Um, Chuck, name's your buzzer, so chuck the buzz in. Huey. Yeah. Well, actually, I was kind of – we kind of switched roles for the last couple of episodes. We did. Yeah. But you – you, to be honest, you've taken the title, so yeah. you're the quiz master on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question. The Broncos will play which team in week one of the Chuck. finals? Storm. <laughs> that's quick. Oh, that's too quick. That's too that's 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 easy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Who previously wore number 23 before Charlie? Chuck. Jackie. Oh, <laughs> that's so quick. I can't, to be honest, I was actually thinking that's about this morning. Get. No, because when I, because I was a 23 at Adelaide, yeah. I was going to say this about it, and I was like, <laughs> oh. Shaggy left, so it was like perfect timing. Yeah, so I was like, oh yeah, go 23. So. You would have done what Gunners did and just 
Yeah. No, <laughs> I wasn't even a year player, so <laughs> I wasn't like a uh, oh, three-time premiership yeah, exactly. yeah, that's Three true. Premiership player. Um, I was thinking about this morning. When you think back to when we first got here, if you go through the numbers, how much the numbers have changed, changed. since we've been – like even Bez was 13. Yeah. yeah. He changed to seven. Like yeah. it just – even that – It's also different. One to one to seven has changed was, so much. What was it? Bas- Keezy. Keezy. Hazy. Keezy. Hazy. Or oh, Hodgie. Basti. No, Hodgie was Bundy. Two, Bundy. Yeah. yeah. Andy, Robbo, yeah. Tom Bell, yeah. you. Yeah, it's so different. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's just crazy <laughs> how much it changes. Anyway, that was a bit off track. We'll get back to it. <laughs> um, who is the only man statistically farther than, uh, faster than Charlie in our team? Chuck. Jimmy. <laughs> Madden. Is it? Yes. Oh. This is three zip already. Oh. <laughs> we'll I actually, at my combine, I ran a 306. Really? Yeah, slow. That's so, I think I nearly I got, beat that. I got, yeah, I, know. I, got I, I was like, yeah, 306. You were like, finessing everyone. I don't know how. Because he was on that hard, like, the it's floor. On the, it's like yeah. a basketball court yeah. kind of thing. A bit like you in the 3K I, pool. Yeah. Just finessing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> was, funny story. We were talking about this the other day. When I did in my draft combine, um, yeah, I when I did that. my 3K, there was <laughs> three boys that did it with me. Me, Darcy Fogarty, Charlie Constable, yeah. and Brisbane come to my house after we did the 3K. And they're like, you know, you were running around Eddie Had, you weren't even watching the track. You are just like looking at the stadium when you're running around. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's my 18th birthday. Like I just got there. And then they're like, yeah, that's probably the right day I fell standard. Former ran like a 1250 yeah, 12 and, and he came oh, first. Out oh, of the yeah. three. Me, and, first. me and Charlie, Charlie and Fogs are on my table. We're just going for a jog. On the <laughs> <laughs> we're walking away going, oh, boy. We've just made oh, a meal of ourselves. Oh, <laughs> so we're talking about it though. That combine, like how full on it is for you when you're 18. Like yep. we're running around Eddie Had that's just like <laughs> sitting in there with notepads. Yeah. And, like, nah. Did you did ever you, do, did you do 3K like or 2K? 3K. Did you, yeah, three. They and, changed it. And, and beat. And yeah, beat and test. Beat yeah. Test, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I might, I might have had um, Yo-Yo. Or maybe I yeah. didn't do it, uh, but yeah. I'd have been a tight quad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he was like, yeah, you, guys, you guys are a short thing. I was like a rookie draft. Yeah. Yeah. They're running the three, three seconds. What, yeah, exactly. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We finished off these last two questions. I reckon it could be a clean sweep here. Which famous country singer was in attendance when we played Collingwood at Marvel? Like Chuck. Luke Combs. Uh, well done. How did you not get that quicker? I was waiting for <laughs> where, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You stuffed you up. Um, name three teammates who have had milestones this year. Chuck. Like, Oh, Cluggy. No, no, it's Huey. No, it's Huey. Do you want to give him a chance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teammates. Okay. Who've had milestones? Who've had milestones this year? Uh, are we going 50 games or is uh, it 100 over? Hippie. I'll say 100 over. Yeah. Hippie. Myself. Can I say that? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've got Pumba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. Well, Chuck's absolutely – you've dominated that, Chuck. Yeah, that you might be the, one of the best we've actually – quiz people we've actually had on here, even though the questions are probably favouring you a little bit. But Shaq, you just signed another year too. I did see that. Did see that? Shaq's just signed for Melbourne, which is good. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> best number 23 at the Lions. Yeah, best number 23 we've had at the club. <laughs> nah, Chuck, um, it's been good to have you on, mate. We've been trying all year and um, you've certainly lived up to yeah. expectations. Yep, I reckon yep, this yep. will be probably one of the most viewed – Podcast we've nah, had because yeah, they love you. Nah, Bez, I've, I've seen, nah, I've seen nah, the views. Nah, Bez, so Bez, like, Bez, how's Bez? How's Bez? I can just one? see the YouTube wallpaper. It'll just be Chucky with one? the front fence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think because like Bez just kept stuffing up his words. Oh, yeah. So like the videos. What did so, he say? Oh man, I can't. Even yesterday we go. He goes, "Where'd you play golf at yesterday?" He goes, "You play Nudgy or specific?" <laughs> 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 and I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh man, he, just, you know, he, he says the rope stuff. Like, he just, he's, like, he's just, he just goes along with yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, like he yeah. tries to just like get it under the covers before anyone <laughs> realizes. <laughs> Specific. Uh, I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Uh, um, no, nah, it'll be good, Chuck. Thanks for coming on. Best of luck for 200 games this weekend, mate. Um, awesome achievement. Appreciate it. And um, I'm not sure are we doing. Well, just it depends on what happens this week if we'll be seeing us next week. Yeah, we'll see how, see we, how go. we go. Hopefully yeah. not. God bless everyone. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks, Charles.